So when you buy a gaming laptop, you buy it for playing games, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of games played on this Asus F17. This is the Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As you can see, it goes with 42 frames per second. Now, the problem is that I'm also recording the screen. If you don't use the screen recorder, you're going to get a little bit more frames per second. And I'm going to demonstrate you that. Okay, so coming back to this game, I'm going to show you how it is when you have the settings to maximum. And let's go into the game. So yeah, that's how the game runs with ultra settings. As you can see, there are no lags. That's why I'm spinning around this village here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and play the next games. Now let's go for Far Cry 4 and see how it's gonna run. And yeah, this is gonna be the most demanding. So we've got around 60 frames per second. So basically all the settings are set to maximum quality possible. There is no much you can do here. And as you can see on Far Cry 4, we've got a minimum of 60 frames per second. Also to be mentioned is that I didn't overclock it. All the settings are from the fabric, how the laptop came. Now the next thing I want to mention about this laptop is that it has this Armory Crate application which sometimes it fails and is completely useless because you'll never use it like for example if you use this performance tab then it's not working it's like just overheating for nothing and you can see in this recording it had some problem where this default message was coming on the screen all the time without any reason and i could not do anything about it i just restart the laptop and everything was fine after that okay the next game on the list assassin's creed origins it looks quite similar as the Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which was also demanding. Okay, let's set to ultra high everything. And let's apply. Okay, we are now on the maximum settings. Let me show you. Everything is on the max possible. Ultra high, high. I had before to slightly lower settings because I was recording as well the screen. And we run with 60 frames per second. Not bad. The GPU is using around 80 watts. And I can tell you the graphics are amazing without any problems. Okay, it drops actually. You could see there when the fight happened. Let's try Call of Duty Black Ops and we've got everything on extra this can be better but this game it looks like it's locked on 60 frames per second all the time okay here we go now let's see far cry 3 all the settings are on the maximum possible and surprisingly, sometimes this game runs almost the same as Far Cry 4, even though it shows some more frames per second. I don't want to kill civilians. Okay, so around 70 frames per second. Finally, let's see CSGO and here we go. We've got all the good stuff enabled here and very high. Let's go and play a game. Now the problem is that it doesn't show the frames per second on this game. But anyway, it looks great and it does move excellent. Okay, so now I have the frames per second right on the left there. So yeah, this gaming laptop is quite amazing for the price. I'm very satisfied with it personally. I don't think it's the best one, of course, is far away from being the best you don't have that 3090 ti which appeared right now 2022 therefore you cannot say that is the best laptop but it's one of the best out there for the price if you are a very professional gamer then probably this is not the right choice for you but if you are an amateur like me then it's perfect you basically don't need anything extra because you can play all the games possible and most of them you can play them on 
really high settings with very good frames per second so i don't know what you can ask for for more so thanks for watching and i'm very curious about your system what system do you have at the moment and if you are satisfied with it and what what's the upgrade you want to do in the future i'm very curious about that so make sure that you subscribe because in the future i'm gonna make some comparison with some older gaming laptop and see what is actually the difference with a gtx 10050 but we will see so stay tuned and i will see you in the next video